it's interesting to look at alcoholism. You know, back more than a hundred years ago, William James, the father of American psychology, once said about alcoholism, which he referred to as dipsomania, which was the quaint term at that time, he said the best treatment for dipsomania is religiomania. Well, and you also said in your article that the founder of AA was... Bill Wilson. Bill Wilson, you know, who developed AA uh, after having a very overwhelming psycho-spiritual experience induced by going through DTs or delirium tremens, a very dangerous condition caused by alcohol withdrawal. He created a 12-step model which at its heart you know, acknowledges a higher power, which is a, which is a spiritual model. Uh, Wilson, in the late 50s, heard about some LSD research studies being conducted at UCLA by the chief of medicine there, Sidney Cohen, volunteered to participate in, in a study, had an LSD experience, and was very impressed and felt that this might, this would clearly be a safer way, a more efficacious way to, ha to, ha to have a religious or spiritual experience much safer than DTs. So he actually took this uh, treatment to the board of trustees of AA and proposed that they incorporate uh, psychedelic treatment as part of the AA model, but by then Tim Leary was starting to make noise, getting a lot of attention, and the board of trustees, uh, very cautious, sober men, decided this was, it was not the right time to incorporate psychedelic treatment into AA and advised Bill Wilson to, uh, to drop his proposal.